Ohio voters approving two divisive measures yesterday. The November ballot issue one will guarantee the right to an abortion under the state constitution. Issue two will make it legal for adults to have and grow marijuana with restrictions. Now we're leading the way with team coverage for you on how the issues impact you. And we begin with WLWT News 5's John London, who's live right now in Mount Auburn. John. Yeah, and here's one way that you, the voter, could be impacted less than 24 hours after voters passed issue one. There's already talk about possibly putting a repeal on a future ballot. On a day after euphoria on one side and emptiness on the other. Our hearts are broken tonight. The question, what now, rises to a higher level. What comes next now that Ohio voters have overwhelmingly put access to abortion in the state constitution? And how much does it shape 2024? Not only did Ohioans vote resoundingly yes on issue one, but the candidates who ran on reproductive rights, including Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, all were successful. Strategists have much to analyze in mapping it out. Reliably read Butler County joined Hamilton County in supporting issue one, as did northeastern Ohio counties Mahoning, Trumbull, and Stark, largely Trump country since 2016. Former Democratic Party Chairman David Pepper, who's written extensively about Ohio's political landscape, is apoplectic that Republican State House leaders are floating a possible repeal effort less than 24 hours after a decisive outcome. However you voted yesterday, to see elected leaders literally say we don't care what you think should disturb you. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, who opposed issue one, says he'll address what he foresees as next steps tomorrow in Columbus. In an interview last month, he said what the head of Ohio's right to life echoed yesterday, that it's hard to get something removed from the state constitution. You can't go to the legislature and ask them to change it because they can't. Only the voters can change the constitution. When you put something in it, it's there for life. Secretary of State Frank LaRose says he looks forward to a robust conversation about next steps, one that Professor Niven says has already occurred. The voters have spoken clearly, and they'll speak clearly again if they're forced to. So learning from last night, that's what strategists in about a dozen states are doing now in the wake of issue one's passage. Constitutional amendments to protect abortion already on the ballot in New York and Maryland and Florida is among other states that could be voting on this in 2024. Live in Mount Auburn, John London, WWT News 5.